Hello my loves, long time no see. I hope that you're all doing well. As the title suggests today, I am going to be starting work on redecorating this studio. We have lived here for almost two years now and this room looks almost exactly the same as the day I first put stuff in here, other than the addition of like more junk. I was so excited when we moved in to finally own a home, have the opportunity to do whatever we wanted, the freedom to paint and wallpaper and put shelves up and all sorts. And I think maybe that overwhelmed me because I just could not figure out what I wanted to do. Everything seemed so permanent and the possibilities were endless and I needed to figure out what I actually wanted, what I liked, how this room was gonna work for me anyway. But yeah, I think, I have it figured out. I have it like 50% figured out and the rest I'm just gonna figure out as I go. If I keep putting this off, it will be another like two years before I do anything in here. So we're gonna get started today. Very exciting, very nerve wracking. But before we do, let me give you a once over of what this room currently looks like. So this is the room in its current state. I'll just give you a quick once round so you can get an idea of it. There's quite a lot I wanna change, but maybe not so much layout wise. But to start with over here, I just have a load of canvases that I haven't used yet and my easel, which would be nice to have somewhere to set that up. And then there's the cat tree over here. Thierry doesn't really use that middle bit anymore, but he does like to sit up at the top. But as you can see, it's just become a bit of a dumping ground. So I wanna clear that all off and maybe get a shelf up here get rid of the cat tree altogether. Then a desk over here, got my treadmill underneath and these drawers over here, I only really use the stuff in the top drawer day to day so I could get something a bit smaller over there and have more desk space possibly. And down here is just junk, it's literally just like dumping around, my plants are all dying as well. And then one of the main things is this shelving unit which I really like as a backdrop for videos but it's just not really the most practical thing for me and how I work. I actually use probably like 2% of the stuff on these shelves. And inside the cupboards, just organization wise, as much as I rearrange things, it's just not ideal at all. It's really hard to get to things. And I would think I would rather have drawers over here. And over here is just sort of a mess of stuff. Antique book collection, little antique camera down there with my hard drive, just random, random stuff everywhere. So confession, I filmed that months ago and I'm only just now getting around to actually starting this project, but that does mean the cat tree is now gone. My mum's cats, Pele and Pimento, are getting much better use out of it than my cat, Thierry, ever did. So the next step for me is to declutter. There is so much in here that just should not be in here. Um, and then there's loads of art stuff that I just don't use anymore. So a lot of this stuff will just be relocated to other parts of the flat. Some stuff I'll be taking to charity or just offering to friends on the group chat and some stuff that's just rubbish I will be just throwing away. Right, the slate is as blank as it's gonna get, so I'm ready to start decorating. Let me share the vision that I have with you so far. I've been working on this for a while, trying to figure out the exact vibe that I was going for. So this is the mood board that I have. I created it in Miller Notes. I have boards like this for every room in the flat. And I think this would also be a great way to basically plan any creative project, like a series of paintings, or if you're outlining a novel, you could have like pictures of the characters, the settings, different plot points planned out. Or if you wanted to plan a wedding or event, or even just something like YouTube videos, social media strategies, I find Milano the best 
way to visually set out and map out a plan and I've been using it myself for at least a year now, maybe even longer, so I'm really pleased that they are sponsoring today's video. So if this is your first time hearing about it, Milano is basically a project management tool for creatives. They have an app which you can access on all your devices. I generally just use it in like the web browser, but essentially whether you're using the app or the browser on the website, Milano is a tool that gives you the freedom and flexibility to organize projects in a really visual way. You've got elements like notes, photos, you can add links, upload files. And I know that you can also work really seamlessly with a team, leaving comments and questions and notes for each other for a really visual workflow. I love planning projects anyway, if you know that about me, but using Miller Notes makes project management even more fun and it's free. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can use the link in my description to sign up for a totally free account, but back to my mood board for the studio. So first of all, I just have a sort of overview. I start out by looking for just pictures that would represent how I would like the room to look. I'm not looking for anything in particular, just seeing what catches my eye and then seeing once I've got it all together, if I can find a link between all the pictures or common themes that are coming up. Because I really didn't know how I wanted this room to look until I started looking at bringing together different ideas and seeing what I was sort of gravitating towards. So I love this picture up here. I think it's all the wood. I love the lighting. I love that low shelf with the books and all the books on the walls. I love the exposed plaster on the ceiling. And then this sort of low bench thing over here with books again and plants on it. I've always loved the idea of having a flat file, uh, but they're really, really expensive. So I've thought about DIYing one out of the Ikea Alex drawers, which I already have. Again, love a long desk, and I really like the idea of this. This kind of looks like the layout of my room, like I have the window and the desk along, so that's something that could work here. So I keep the to-do list by the side and also a to-buy list as well, so that I can keep on top of whatever project I'm working on. So we have done those so far. And then looking in more detail, I'll split up different sections of the room. So here I've got different price comparisons for things, also dimensions for things. So I only need to take the measurement of something once and then while I'm shopping online, I don't need to be going back and forth trying to figure out what size things need to be. And again, that comes in really useful for, for example, the flat file that I wanna work on. Just pricing up different options for how I might be able to do that looking at different shops, looking at different price comparisons, getting a good idea of how much this particular part of the project might cost and how I might go about it. So with all of that in mind, next up with those shelves gone, it is time for some storage and time to work on that DIY flat file, which spoiler alert, I already kind of started because I couldn't handle all of the clutter floating around in here without those shelves, like without everything having a home. So flashing back, I started out by building the new Alex drawer.
Finally, I attached and stained the side pieces and cut a piece to go over the top. I'm using these like padded foot things that stop the top sliding around, but I can still easily remove it so that I can move each draw unit separately, if that makes sense. And also I painted the inside of some of the drawers with chalk paint so that areas where the white was poking through wouldn't be so obvious. But yeah, that took way longer than I expected, like days. I'm hoping that that's gonna be the most time intensive part of this project because I really want this done as soon as possible so I can get back to work. So the day after I finished those drawers, I moved swiftly on to the next steps. So the next steps were to wallpaper this wall. I got this mural from a company called Photo Wall who send the wallpaper with all of the tools that you need, the paste and everything you see here except for the ruler and the measuring tape. I went for this plaster effect look that they had on there and it was all relatively easy to get done really quick. I decided to do this rather than lime washing the wall because I thought it would be much quicker. Although in retrospect, I think if I did this again, I would just lime wash the wall for that textured look because it definitely would have been a lot cheaper. But overall, really happy with how that turned out. And then I got these blinds made to measure for the window. I'm just really glad to finally be getting rid of the DIY curtain situation I had there. It's like an old rag that I used to use when I was painting and a sheer green curtain that I had just hanging on to one random nail. So I very rarely ever used that as a curtain. And I hung the blind up quite a lot higher to where it had been before, which made the window look a lot bigger. And overall, just having a proper window treatment on this window has made such a massive difference. I feel like I've said the word window so many times. There's one more bigger thing that I've been thinking about before it's time for the finishing touches. As I said before, I love a long desk, but my current setup is using a standing desk and I do use the standing function pretty much every day when I'm doing my morning treadmill walk and work. So I'm thinking if I get one long piece of wood, like countertop, tabletop, whatever, cut it down so some of it is stationary and some of it can move up and down with the rest of the desk, well, You'll see, you'll see what happens. I'll see also because I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, a little bit annoyed maybe. Um, I ordered two shelves, I only got one. I've gone through all the boxes and everything and yeah, I guess they just forgot it. It's just that this took almost a month to all arrive. I've been waiting for it for this like next stage. So I'll message them and I'm sure they'll sort it out, but I will just have to carry on with the plan and save a space for the other shelf. And this makeover will probably have to be finished without it. Uh, I mean, they make everything from scratch. Like they cut it down to whatever size you want and stain it, the color that you want. So it makes sense why it took so long. And that's why I would expect it might take long again for them to do that shelf, although they might be able to do it a bit quicker. I'm not sure. I will say, it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells like fresh wood and the stain on it smells really nice as well. So I can't complain really. It's gonna smell amazing in here for a long time, I think. That wood smell does tend to linger. It smells like a workshop. I'm gonna put up this one shelf that I have and then we'll move on to this desk situation.
okay, structurally, everything is built, all the big stuff is in place. It's still a tip in here, but I'm hoping that as I do the sort of finishing touches today, a little bit of decorating, hopefully everything will fall into place and somehow all the mess will find a home because I really, really need to get this done today. Now we're not completely done here. I would love a rug, I would love a couple more lamps, maybe a footstool and a new chair in the future. And also it is looking quite busy, quite cluttered. I had to do a lot of using the things that I have to act as decoration. Whereas I would prefer the space to be a bit more minimal. So do have another decluttering round to go at some point. Like I have a million blank canvases that I've just strategically put around as decoration for now. But working with the time frame and budget that I had, I'm really happy with how things are now. I know that it's easy when you're watching these kinds of videos to see it all come together so quickly and I will say that has not been the case and it probably isn't the case for most people. This took months, uh, just being able to fit in the time to do this around doing work and also to be able to afford everything. Uh, it would take maybe a month for me to save for the desk for example and then another month to be able to afford the wood that I used on those drawers and the drawers themselves, another month to buy like the lampshade and the plants and all the random bits and bobs. So if you are sort of planning a project like this please don't be disheartened by the fact that this video is however long these things do take time and you can spread the cost over a few months saving and spending when you can doing a little bit at a time and still getting it done and that also gives you a lot more time to figure out exactly how you want it to look but i'm happy i achieved the atmosphere that i wanted here it's peaceful it feels productive i really can't wait to get to work in here i love knowing where everything is now and having easier access to everything so if you're not subscribed please do because my next video will be a more in-depth look at the organization in here where i'm storing all of my art supplies all of my stationery and my filming supplies how it's all laid out so that it can be easier for me to get to everything but otherwise we're all done here thank you so much for watching and thanks again to miller note for sponsoring this video and i'll see you soon in the next one bye Thank you.